3D CAD has evolved the design process, but there are still many manufacturing processes that depend on a 2D drawing. SolidWorks has powerful capabilities that allow you to create 2D drawings from your 3D models that continue to improve each and every year. In this video, we'll be reviewing the enhancements to SolidWorks drawings in the 2024 release. This is just one video of a series where we are breaking down the enhancements in SolidWorks 2024. So be sure to like and subscribe to be notified when the next video in the series is released. Now let's dive in. Let's start by adding some dimensions to this drawing view. We'll use a chain dimension type, which can be useful for creating a set of dimensions all based off of a common reference point. In 2024, these chain dimensions will come in as aligned collinear, reducing the need for cleanup. In areas where the dimensions may overlap, a new system option will automatically offset dimension text where appropriate. If you ever need to override a dimension, you'll also now have the option to highlight the overridden value with a specific color. The behavior itself is a document property which can be found at the bottom of the dimensions section. The color itself is defined as a system option under the colors section. If you'd like to restore the original value, you can do so through the right-click menu. Just as with the enhancements to parts and assemblies, you now have the option to save to previous software versions up to two years behind the current release. Right now, from the Save As dialog window, we can select SOLIDWORKS 2022 or 2023 in the case of 2024. Note that this automatically includes all reference components and converts them to that version year as well. And any features that are specific to a newer version year must be removed to complete this successfully. For our next enhancement, we'll start by adding a note. We'll open the Link to Property dialog window to add in properties to this note. You'll notice that I now have the option to leave this dialog window open to add in multiple properties. This last enhancement is sure to excite anyone out there that works a lot with drawings. When I change the configuration of this drawing view, we'll see that the reference is lost and the dimension turns yellow, signifying that it is dangling. Now in 2024, we can right click on this dimension and select reattach. This will bring up a red X where the reference has been lost and allow us to select a new replacement. In review, chain dimensions are automatically added aligned collinear and dimension text is automatically offset as needed. Hovering over a dimension will automatically highlight the referenced entities. Dimensions with a manual override can be highlighted with the color of the user's preference. You can now save a drawing backwards up to two previous version years. When adding a property link, the dialog window will stay open to make adding multiple more convenient. And you now have improved capabilities to reattach dangling dimensions. For some bonus enhancements not shown in the demonstration, drawings can now open in detailing mode by default. You can now select and delete multiple layers, and you can now exclude hidden sketches in an export to DXF. The improvements in SOLIDWORKS 2024 for drawings are sure to help you streamline your processes and keep your drawings organized. Just as with our review for the enhancements with parts and assemblies, the ability to save to previous version years is going to have a huge impact and has been a long requested enhancement that is sure to excite all of the SOLIDWORKS users out there. Contact us if you are interested in learning more about getting up and running with the latest release of SOLIDWORKS. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to be notified of the release of our next video, where we'll be reviewing the enhancements to the rendering capabilities in SOLIDWORKS Visualize 2024.